It's gonna be a tough climb. As I glance at the calendar looking for what adventure lie ahead, I can't help but see it as a timepiece pointing to the past. Every month which passes is a move in time the opposite way I want to travel. Five months is not long enough to lose memories, is it? I find myself reaching for ways to open up my mind and recover memories. Today I go to a place my father would have loved, a grassy hill so far away that on a clear day you can see mountain peak after mountain peak in every direction. I'm hoping it's a place of rest and peace. Along the way, I'll stop at a bean museum, a wild biker saloon, although tame this time of day, a small town known to accommodate Appalachian trail hikers, and finally, arriving at a place with no distractions and a time for reflection. Alright, it's so foggy out here, I've got water running off the face shield. So it's very difficult to see as foggy as it is. And when I lift up my face mask, it just, I can feel the fog. It's just hitting me in the face. It's just like being in a mist. Uh, really messes with your vision. we head to the mountains it's gonna be a good day uh, probably emotional day uh, it might be a little difficult riding day uh, I know we got to really head into the deep of the mountains uh, to get to uh, hot springs and get to get to max patch but uh, we'll put our feet up there on max patch Hopefully put my feet up on the Appalachian Trail, a place my dad would love to get to. I was fortunate enough to get him on the Appalachian Trail about three years ago, I think. Two to three years ago. Um, you know, just for 30 minutes or so. Uh, it was special, special to him. It's going to be a, a bittersweet day. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm gonna think positive. I know he would have loved me going out, even though he didn't understand it and did not enjoy the thought of me being out on a motorcycle. Um, he wanted me to be out on the motorcycle. And so uh, the last year of his life, he would always ask, did you ride today or have you ridden lately? So yeah, so here I am again, doing it again. Another day, another ride, another Royal Enfield adventure. And we're gonna make our way to some really cool areas today. Uh, so join along. Oh, oh, looky here. Maybe these be beans that being burning, I don't know. Uh, so bush beans is all from this area. And look at, I I've never been here before. Hello, sir. Look at that big old can of bush beans there. Visitor center. Oh my gosh. What? What? What the heck? Is there actually really a bush beans visitor center? This has to go. Um, yeah, I got to take a look at this. This is kind of weird. 
Got the AT hat. There you go. This actually is my dad's hat. really don't know what all the fuss is about bush beans but you know we'll we'll give her a whirl we'll see here there we go Aww. probably nothing in here about bush beans it's probably all just kind of gimmicky stuff this is our free museum. We hope you'll come in and look around in there a little bit. A little 10 minute movie in the theater that takes you inside the plant. When I was a little boy, the kids could be so happy. Laughing at what was in my lunch pail. Yell about the musical fruit They say the more that I ate The more I do I swear that they've never Made me do that So today when I got on the Royal Enfield Himalayan Started my journey Did I ever think I'd be standing next to the biggest Can of bush beans Did I think I would go Through a bush bean museum I don't think so I'd like to introduce you now to an old friend, uh, a great legend of Tennessee, also a connoisseur of bush beans, um, Mr. Peyton Manning. Hey Peyton, beans are good, right? I thought so. Thanks for learning how to make a beautiful Thank you for letting us share this beautiful bean story with you. Thanks for visiting our community and for being part of the beautiful bean story. I think the bush bean business is a pretty dang good business. Uh, inside there, the little museum, you can see it's top notch. A lot of money spent in there. There's like eight or ten employees in there just walking around helping the five or six guests that are in the museum. Didn't think I'd be going to a bean museum today. Um, you know, oh well. How many of you have done that? So this is Barbarossa. Uh, this is a kind of a biker campground, hangout, whatever. They have live music here on the weekend. So you get pretty busy on the weekends, huh? Yeah, there'd be 400, 700 bikes out here. It's 400, 700 bikes, wow. Yep. That's why we have it one way and out that exit ramp. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, here you go. Thank you. Can't wait to move on to Hot Springs. Nice little spot here by the river. Um, let's move on to Hot Springs. Let's go. Goodbye, Barbarossa. Roll 
Coming on in to Hot Springs, North Carolina. Named Hot Springs because there's a natural spring here that has mineral water that it heats up to 103 to 108 degrees, something like that. Um, it's just always like that. All right, so let's go down here and see the French Broad River in Hot Springs. See if I can make my way out here. Oh, 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 further, go further. Let's see, let's go here, and here, and here, and here, here, here. This is as far as I think I'm gonna go. Look at that, sweet. Nice little quaint town of Hot Springs. post office back there it's where a lot of Appalachian Trail hikers get stuff dropped off to them it's a pretty common spot not sure where the trail comes in at somewhere here in town here it is Appalachian Foot Trail Georgia to Maine there it goes right through there so we're gonna find it though at Max Patch. Yeah, we're going up here. We gotta hit that 5,000 foot mark, I guess. Um, nice, beautiful road. Climbing here, folks. All these switchbacks. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> Come on, Himalayan. Nothing but climbing the last 10 minutes. Just keep going up. Alrighty, here we go. Now we're climbing on rocks. Oh, this is big rock. It's squirrely too. I need to get me some better tires. Yeah, this is as remote, I think, as I've been. It's worth it. The view's worth it. I just hope I can get there. Yeah, so my uh, my GPS actually quit work. It took me the wrong way. Um, yeah, we're deep back in here. I, thankfully, when I pulled over, I got a signal and I could get a map because if I tell it to take me there it doesn't take you there it just puts you way out of out into nowhere problem is I only got 22% left on my phone and so getting out of here might be the issue there everything is rock road back here and there's a lot of little turnoffs and not one of them is marked there's no sign, no route number, nothing. So, uh, if you if you're back on these roads, you're supposed to be knowing where you're going. Definitely a challenge ride today. Definitely a little uncomfortable with it right now. Yeah, that'll help me a lot. Intrusive thought of the day. Um, what if all these people up here on this mountain are in some kind of cult? And they're all giving these directions what you think is getting you to Max Patch. But it's not going to Max Patch.
made it to max patch and now I gotta climb that hill okay well we can do this welcome to max patch got the AT up there so I got a jacket and pants not gonna lock them up I uh, don't have a way to lock them up on the bike so I'm going to do 0.4 of a mile hike in long pants and a jacket and this is where we're headed we're here, so let's go have a look. It's gonna be a tough climb. For some reason, I think I'm going the wrong way. I think I'm going to the right, and I'm supposed to have gone to the left. Yeah. Definitely was headed the wrong way. Uh, I'll tell you what, I've been headed the wrong way this whole dang day. Maybe a tenth of the way there. I don't know. I'm gonna make it. I don't know. But I'm gonna be there soon. Headed in to get Zoe her first tattoo ever. Huh? No. No? Yeah, Zoe gets a tattoo today. No. No, no. You ready, TT? I'm not doing it. doing Zoe today, right? That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? No, I'm ready for you, Zoe. Just needs to be a little lower. Don't I don't know how high it is. I mean, you're doing 
pretty good. What are you thinking about? Nothing. I think, you think this is a good tattoo for Papa? Yeah, remember Papa? It's gonna look nice. Got a color in the line, Zoe. This is the most important version of that. <laughs> <laughs> So clean. Right. Teresa, get this tear. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually there. Do you see it? It always glows. And in the reflection of the tear, it's <laughs> my face going. <laughs> that was I mean, uh, it wasn't a painful tear. It was, I don't know. I was